Okay, so we're doing another chili recipe today, and this one is one of my favorites. It is Texas chili, no beans, all meat. The star of this chili is tri-tip steak. We're using a really nice cut of meat. We're not using just chuck stew meat. This is like a quality steak. This is what makes this chili so good. So there's a lot of steps to this chili. Don't freak out. I'm gonna walk you through all of them and it's gonna turn out to be one of the best chilies you've ever had in your life and it's totally worth it. So we're gonna get started here and the first step is to heat up the beef broth. Pouring all the beef broth into a small soup pot and I'm gonna bring it up to a high heat. So while our beef stock is heating up, I wanted to talk to you guys about chilies. This is what's gonna give this chili the chili flavor, okay? Um, I'm using two different kinds. These are Wajillo chilies, see that? They're nice and red, they're smoky, they're really nice. And then I'm gonna use one ancho chili, which looks all wrinkly and weird, but they're very fragrant, very delicious. So I'm just gonna de-seed these. I'm just, I, you don't have to be too crazy. Just take out most of the seeds and just open them up like that, empty them out. And same, same with the Wajio chilies. I just rip the stem off. And it's okay if they're ripped apart like that. Just wanna get the seeds out. Then I'm gonna place all the dried chilies in this pan right here, which I've got heating up. And we're just gonna slowly toast these, probably like, three to four minutes until they're nice and fragrant. So the chilies are starting to become fragrant. They're starting to soft, uh, starting to soften up a little bit. I just wanna make sure that they don't burn. Um, I just want them to become a little bit toasty. And if there are some seeds, you can see there's still some seeds in there. It's not a huge deal. I just wanted to get most of the seeds out. Oh yeah, it's starting to pop. See that smoke? So it's been three or four minutes of toasting these chilies. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add these to the beef stock. All right, so we got the chilies in the beef stock. We're just gonna set it aside. We're gonna use it later. And those chilies are just gonna rehydrate in the beef stock and it's gonna be really flavorful. So now we're gonna toast all of our spices. We have allspice, cinnamon, and whole cumin seed. And we're gonna toast these just like we did with the chilies in the same pan. They can burn very easily, so you gotta be careful. So you just wanna keep the spices moving so they don't burn. This is gonna take probably about three, three to four minutes. Okay, we got a coffee grinder, and this is what we're gonna use to blend up all these whole spices. These whole spices are holding all that delicious flavor inside of them, so when they're fresh and whole like this, and you toast them, and then you grind them yourself, the flavor is uncomparable to like just store-bought ground spices, so. So we always have this extra coffee grinder that we use for spices. This is like the best way to blend up. And this whole cinnamon stick, everything just goes right in there. Just put the lid on and blend away. All right, now we got our own spice mix that we made ourselves. It's nice and toasty and very fragrant. I mean, there's so much flavor going on in this chili, but um, toasting your own spices really just takes it up a notch. It's so good. All right, we'll set that aside. So I got the star of the show here. Here's our tri-tip steak. It's a little bit more high quality than Chuck. And again, like I said, this is the star of the show. So you don't want to skimp out on this quality of meat. So I'm just going to cut it up into similar size pieces, just like a large dice. All right, so there's all of our steak. Nice and cut up, big large chunks. So I've got my large chili pot here. It's over like medium high heat. I'm gonna add the butter and then I'm just gonna add the beef. And you wanna spread it out. And we're just gonna allow it to brown. I'm gonna add the salt. and the black pepper. So we just wanna stir up the beef, make sure the salt and pepper is seasoned to every piece of meat. And then we just wanna let it brown really quick, maybe a couple minutes. Okay, now I'm gonna add my onions and the garlic and stir that up. 
and saute that for a minute or two. Okay, now that they've been, the onions and garlic have been mingling and sauteing a little bit, I'm gonna add our spice mix that we made. Dump that in and then mix that up really good. And we want to saute the spices in this mix for a couple minutes. And this really allows the flavor of the spices to come out again. We're gonna add a beer to this chili. Yes, you might be freaking out. What is a beer going in the soup for? It's actually really great. The alcohol completely cooks out and it adds this flavor that is kind of different. It's a little, um, the sugars in the beer add a little bit of sweetness. Just trust me, it's really good. And make sure you save a drink for yourself. So just add the whole beer and every chef must taste their product. While this is coming up to a simmer, I'm gonna add in the masa flour. So just sprinkle that in, stir it up. The masa is gonna add like kind of a corn-ish flavor. Not too heavy, but it's also gonna help thicken the chili. Okay, so now another step. Uh, remember that beef stock that we did put the chilies in, did all that stuff? We're gonna pour this into a blender and we're gonna blend it up till the chilies are incorporated and it's nice and smooth. Okay, now our beef is all, and the beer is simmering. We're gonna add the beef stock with the chilies. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Look at that red color. We're gonna add one bay leaf and we're gonna add our San Marzano tomatoes. All right, so all of our ingredients are in this pot, which is a good thing. Now, it just takes time. So this chili cooks for a really long time. I'm gonna put a lid on it. I'm gonna move it to the back burner and we're gonna simmer it on low for three hours. So we got our timer set. You do wanna come back and check it every once in a while, maybe every 30, 45 minutes and give it a little bit of a stir, make sure it's still simmering and it's not over boiling or anything like that. Remember to keep it on a low simmer and slow and low, that's what you want. Okay, our three hours is up on the Texas chili. Let's take a look. Oh, oh man. Look at that. All the beef is nice and tender, but still it's not falling apart. All the spices and chilies are incorporated. Oh, it smells incredible. Okay, so now we're gonna add the lime juice straight to the pot. And the tomato paste. Stir that in really good. And then we're gonna simmer this for another 30 minutes with no lid on it. And the tomato paste is gonna thicken it up nicely. And it should finish and be done in another 30 minutes, so. Like, look at the beautiful color. It's all from those chilies, man. It's delicious, look at that. And the beef is totally broken down, but it's not falling completely apart, so you still get nice chunks of meat in there. And there's no beans or no nonsense to get in the way of the meat. It's just like Texas in a bowl. <laughs> so the first thing you notice about this chili is the smell, is the spices, um, that allspice, that whole cumin that we toasted ourselves. It really sets it apart. It, it, it will just, the fragrance is so amazing. It's hard to describe, but um, let's give it a try. Let's see how this tastes. Oh, oh you guys. This is phenomenal. Like, I'm, oh, I say that about everything I make, but this is phenomenal. This chili really reminds me, I call it a gravy sometimes, and so do other people, and that really does make sense when you try it. 
it is kind of like this gravy. It's got so much depth of flavor. It's so rich and layered. And the amount of time that we cooked it for three hours, it's pretty long. Um, that just builds flavor and builds flavor. And it's just, it's so worth it. The time and effort. This is just an amazing chili. Hope you guys try it. So guys, this is Two Chefs Texas Chili. Gotta try it.